Hey guys, what's going on? It's Vinet here. Today I'm going to show you how to get renewable nuclear energy. So first of all, here's my first uh, process. Uh, this is to create the fuel rod needed to run the fission reactor and the other device, which is a new device I'll show you later. Sorry about that lag spike for a second there. Okay, anyway, now I'm going to show you how to make this. So firstly, here's everything you need. You're going to need a chemical extractor, centrifuge, nuclear boiler, copper wire, you know, battery box, you can read whatever I put on, some water, uh, and the most important thing is the uranium ore, which is what runs this. So pretty much I'm going to show you how to set it up, even though it's right there. So you just place the chemical extractor first, then the nuclear boiler, whoopsie, my bad, and then the centrifuge. You're going you're gonna to want to have a, uh, firstly, a renewable source of energy to run this. That is why you have the uh, advanced solar panels, which are very useful. So let me put that, let me set that up. So all you have to do, I have nine there, which I think is works well. But this is renewable. Um, there's a more efficient way. So I'm just going to place like three or, f no, only three. I don't need any more for now because I'm going to show you something awesome. Now let me make a day just to show you. Okay, so there's we got this uh, energy running through this, so that's already a good thing. Now you want to fill this up with water, fill this up with water, and this one doesn't need any water. Now here comes the uh, technical part. You're going to want to put uranium ore in the chemical extractor. Now let me show you what it does. It creates a stuff called yellow cake. And remember, wear a hazmat suit, a full suit, or else you'll be uh, poisoned by radiation. Now this is the only um, manual thing you have to do, but you have to put the yellow cake yourself into the nuclear boiler, which then creates this uranium hexafluoride, which then is automatically transferred to the centrifuge if you place it next to it. And this process takes a while. That's why you should kind of do other stuff on the side. You don't want to just be sitting here waiting because it takes maybe about 10 minutes. And then you get these two different types of uranium. You get enriched uranium, which is used to create the fissile fuel rod. Then you get the uh, breeder, breeding uranium, which is used to make this. Now, while you're how to make these two different types, let me take this out. Of course, I don't have a crafting table. Alright. So you're going to want to do this. You're going to want to put the uranium in the middle row. Then all you have to do is just put empty cells on both sides. And voila. So let me do the same for the um, fissile fuel rod. And this is after maybe about 50 minutes of AFK. You get like one. And trust me, this lasts about 30 minutes. So yeah, this is the process of making the fuel rods as you see here you get you get some yellow cake you put in here and diffuses into that whoa and goes into here alright so here are the key points for this you're gonna want to have a lot of water a lot of uranium or like just mine uranium that's the only thing you have to do is mine it and place the yellow the yellow um, thingy, <laughs> the yellow cake yourself now, let me get rid of this stuff, and I'll go on to the next phase of this tutorial. Okay. Now, this is a fission reactor. Um, I'll show you guys how to make it. It's pretty simple. Now, uh, here, let me place this here. You're also going to want to have a hazmat suit here. And here are all the necessary things you want to have. Okay, so here you can see this is the, how it looks like. It looks pretty. It's really simple. If you think that looks complicated, all you have to do is make a three by three square, and then all you have to do here is on uh, this blocker here, dig two down, place a sticky piston and a control rod. Now, what this control rod does, it gives you a little. Um, well, it's in the name. It gives you kind of some control on the. Uh, reactor so it doesn't like overheat so forth 
now um, play the place the fission reactor itself let me get this don't need this lever there now here comes the water bit you're gonna need quite a bit of water oopsie yeah sorry this isn't going as smooth as planned but you know you can get the idea so you place the water here just ignore that glass think of that as uh, gr grass now you just want to make an other layer of glass or whatever block you want to use to uh, keep this in. I recommend glass though because it's nice to see your what's going on inside. Then you just place another 3x3 three three area of water. Now next you're going to want to place 9 reactor turbines over the top of the water. Then using a wrench on the middle one you just create one giant one which is more efficient. Now here comes the battery box part. I would recommend making about six at least, because this is it, it gets a lot of energy. Let me say that it generates a lot of electricity. So you want the red side here. Yep, yep, yep. Put some copper wire through up from this. There we go. I forgot to do one thing is which is place a lever here which is how that works. So yeah, that's pretty handy. Okay. Now I hope I've done everything right. We'll see. <laughs> Looks pretty good. Now all you do is with the fissile fuel rod, which we created on that stage. You Okay, I remember one mistake now to dig under here so you can be you're able to reach it all you have to do is place it in there and let me show you this and as you place it this is what happens so the degree Celsius will go up but the water around it will cool it down so so it doesn't uh, explode so don't worry about that and this lasts uh, 2500 seconds which my there's 3600 I oh know it lasts quite long 40 minutes let's say about that so yeah, you can see 15 minutes of AFK and gets that much, and voila, you're getting already some uh, energy. That's because it's not fully powered up. So yeah, that's pretty much the fission reactor. As you see, this is all filled up max, yet it's very efficient. Now, are you wondering, what do we do with these breeder fuel rods? Um, well, here is what we do. Let me just get rid of this stuff. Uh, where's the chest? Oh, I don't, oh no, it's over here. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, uh, um, actually, no, I want to do something else first. I'm sorry, this is a little complicated. This is where the renewable part comes in. So, you know, here, I mean, th this is pretty renewable, but at night, you're not going to get any power here. And you're like, what do I do with all this excess power? So all you can do is this. Connect this to reactor. Exports all the energy out. Look at that. Now you don't even need this. Um, well, I don't have any supplies in here because... But let me show you this. One second. Sorry for the delay. Oh, I need uranium. That's what I needed. Okay. I'm not a noob, guys. So you see, this is max power. And this is just renewable, because you're creating it from what you've gotten here. You don't need all this crap here. You can get rid of it. That's why I recommended only three, because once you get to this stage, you don't need it anymore. See, this is all renewable energy. And, uh... So, yeah that's the renewable part I was talking about now to this breeder fuel rod business let's go ahoy now what is this complicated thing let me get rid of these sirens you don't need it okay Oh, wait, I do need them.
One second. Okay, I made a mistake here. Uh, I'll be right back for a second. Hey, you guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. Um, so now I'm going to show you how to make this. So you need to make a 7x7. Seven seven. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7. Sorry about this. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, boring, 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 boring. So you have to make that kind of outline. Um, then you place your fission reactor. Wait, is that 7x7? Seven seven? 4, 5, 6, 7. Ugh, whatever. <laughs> I made a mistake. Oh, yeah. So you play the fi place a fission reactor there. One there, one here. One there, one there, and one there. Now you just all you have to do is just place water around it. Oh my god, no. Tap. Okay. <laughs> place water around there. I think this is where I went over. Yeah, like that's how it should look like. Sorry about that. So yeah, still seven by seven. So this is how it looks like from the uh if you look at it. What you wanna do now is um probably should have done this before, but you wanna go under it. Not that much, though. All right, so under it like this. You want to find the, uh, where's the uh, stuff? All right, you want to put this, put dig, and place the sticky pistons with a control rod. So you dig two sticky piston and another control rod, so on each corner. This one's messed up because they dug it out. Um, so yeah, that's how you do that. Let me fix this up. Oh my god, no step. Ugh. Come on. I'm in creative mode. How can you not fly through this? Okay, there you go. Oh my god. I don't know what to do. Oh my god, I'm so noob. I'm sorry guys about this. Okay, <laughs> now let me try this again. Alright, this one has a sticky piston. It's this one. So you want to break two sticky pistons there. So that's how it's meant to look like. Um, now what you want to do is here, you want to place your thermometer under the um, f four fission reactors. And but there doesn't have to be one in the middle, so remember that. All right, so this is how it looks like. I'm gonna dig this out because you're gonna need to dig this out to view how to make this underneath. Okay. So I've dug out an area around it. What you want to do is place stone here, here. Okay, like this. In between or off stone, you can just leave. Uh, that and you want to place redstone there. If you want to put sirens to alert you when it hits max uh, level, then sure. Now you, this is an important part. Let me get rid of this. You see down there it says 2,000. You want to put that down to 1,600. All of them. That's a crucial point, or else they will explode. So let me do that. 1600 yep that looks good to me yep okay now we have to get our rods so we have the breeder fuel rods four of them you need by the way and then a depleted fish off rod so you just go like this you place this first in the middle then done 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 and you'll see the temperature rise here um, I'll just AFK for a bit and then show you guys how it works. So be right back. Okay, so I'm back. Um, as you see, the temperature is still rising. It's closing in on uh, 1600 degrees Celsius. Now what should happen is that these should start going up and down and up and down constantly. When it reaches, let me see. I'm hoping this works. So yeah, this is a... Let me explain what this does if I didn't before or in more detailed way. Way, so that useless breeder uranium you get there, 
he can use to, on this on the fissile fuel rods which you use on the fissile reactor so pretty much you renew the reactor and then that should refuel that so as you see it's cooling it down and here's another good point for this uh, for the uh, fissile fuel rods you start replenishing or refuel you need uh, s at least 6,000 degrees Celsius in total between these four so that's a minimum of 1,500 so I'm, I would say 1,600 is a good cap if you want to be risky and head 1,900 go ahead but I like to remain safe so yeah that's um that's the uh, breeder what's it called the breeder I don't know what the name of this thing is it's called the breeder something <laughs> the breeder replenishing site let me say that so yeah we have the let me go into conclusion we have the stuff that makes this uranium the fuel rods let me say that the stuff that makes the fuel rods the stuff that converts the fuel rods into electricity, which is the main thing you want. And then I think this is optional, but the stuff that replenishes the fist off fuel rods. I mean it's an it's a handy thing to have. So yeah. These two are a must and this is an optional feature, but hey, if you want that, you can have it. So yeah, let's see how much we've generated. See? It's already generated full by this episode. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Um Please comment, rate, and subscribe.